saved a wretch like me. Starting off day three of testing out the official curly girl, girl method from the handbook. And I still feel like everything's a little greasy and heavy looking. Unfortunately, I don't have time to wash and allow my hair to dry because I have a lot of in and out and appointments and things with the kids today. It does feel bouncy and moisturized. Last night, I did spritz it with a little water before I put it up just a little bit, especially the crown area. But I still feel like it just looks heavy and greasy from the conditioner. But again, I feel like that is because I left in too much conditioner. That's one of the things that we learn as we go. So we're gonna head into day three. I'll add some more photos later see how the rest of the day goes. Hopefully we'll get to wash it tomorrow. We are nearing the end of day three. My hair is pretty flat. You can see it all. We have to stand up. But it is still very moisturized. But why do you see two different colors here? I'm growing out hair color. It was red for a long time and loved it, but Time to let go and let my hair get healthy again. So, still have a couple stops to make. One of them, I do have to actually get out. And so, I like the way that this is all looking. It looks very smooth and it's laying nicely. So, I'm just gonna take a band of hair, make a couple of quick ponytails. It's also very, very rainy today, which is not affecting my frizz because everything's moisturized. I talked about frizz in a post. Let me know if you can't find it. And I'll get it for you. Okay. So now we have easy pigtails. Hat lined with satin, which is great because it's not going to make a lot of friction. And we're good to go and look like we really thought this out a lot, right? Even though we didn't. Don't tell. All right, we'll see. Uh, tonight will be pretty much the same as yesterday. I'll have a pineapple. Might or might not wash tomorrow because even though I feel like there's still too much conditioner, if my hair doesn't feel like it needs to be washed, I don't want to wash it. Does that make sense? So this may drag out a little longer than I intended, but we'll see how it wakes up tomorrow. All right, see you then. But now found was blind, but now I see. Grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fear relieved. How precious!
lost count of how many days it's been since I started testing out the official curly girl method today was a wash or no I'm sorry yesterday was a wash day and I ended up sleeping in my cast so when I got up this morning it was pretty much already broken on its own and I just put some water on it to kind of refresh the gel ended up going out I had to take my son to work. I didn't really do any fluffing, so we're gonna do that now. You can see there is some frizz, but here's what I'm noticing. Up here towards the root, I have more wave there. I do still have uh, some ringlets toward the bottom. I'm not really getting that up here though. I don't know if I ever could. I'll write more about that on the blog. I'm not gonna make you a super long video. So I'm gonna use rose water to hopefully tame a little of the frizz. We're gonna flip. I'm gonna put rose water on my hands because we don't want dry hands, right? Fluffing just to kind of separate weird parts. I don't really concerned about volume, but the volume is good. Definitely amazing, but I always have good volume, so it's not really like a struggle for me to do that. But, so I'm gonna turn, now this is stretched out. This is the part of my hair that I always grab and pull. And if I move my hair over for bag straps or something like that, it's always that side. So that's why it's so stretched out. It's also that wonky side. So there's the back. And what you'll see is tighter waves than I'm used to, but again, still not curls, not like ringlet curls. Does that make sense? My hair is very, very hydrated and healthy feeling. It feels really, really good. Uh, so that's one thing that's really pleased me. What I do miss are having more ringlets. See, this kind of from afar looks like a good ringlety curl, but it's not. It's just a wave. See? So it's still lovely and beautiful. It's just different than what it looks like if I manipulate it, which I have not been doing any combing, any brushing, any styling. I haven't even done much like scrunching to manipulate curls. I just kind of wanted to see what it could do. So at this point, I think what this method is giving me is a healthier version of what my hair is supposed to look like in my natural hair without any manipulation. Does that make sense? So literally I could wear my hair like this 24 seven all the time and be happy with it. What I'm not gonna get are those big ringlets that I know my hair can do, but it does take some manipulation. I hope that makes sense. So that's where we are. I'll count the days. This might be the last wash day update, but you see how just bouncy and healthy it is? That's what I'm most happy with. 
I mean, it was before, but it's different. And I don't really know how to explain that without you touching it. So, and even when I pull it up, I'm still seeing, well, it looks all stretched out now, but every other day, but today, I can still see these waves. I've had my hands in my hair a lot today, so I've probably pulled it all out, but there's just more of this when I pull it back, more of that wave. I'll try to get a picture of that in the next few days for you to actually see what I'm talking about. All right, that's it. Bye. That I first